guys, so I am continuing on with the fairy tale sort of theme because uh, I really like fairy tales. And there's another fairy tale that I wanted to read you. So today I'm going to read The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Now this is an old book I got from somebody else, so it's missing its cover jacket thing, so you can't really see the pictures, but it's a really good story. The Three Billy Goats Gruff. This one is also an AR book, so you can take an AR test on it. The Three Billy Goats Gruff by Paul Galdone. So there's lots of versions of this book, so make sure you get the one by this author. Ooh. Trying to make sure you guys can see. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats. They lived in a valley, and the name of all three billy goats was Gruff. There was very little grass in the valley, and the billy goats were hungry. They wanted to go up the hillside to a fine meadow full of grass and daisies where they could eat and eat and eat and get fat. <laughs> but on the way up there was a bridge, oh, on the way up there was a bridge over a rushing river and under the bridge lived a troll who was as mean as he was ugly. Oh, did you see the troll? Woo! It's ugly. First, the youngest Billy Goat Gruff decided to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge? Roared the troll. Oh, it's only I, the tiniest Billy Goat Gruff, said the Billy Groat, Goat in his very small voice, and I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. No, you're not, said the troll, for I'm coming to gobble you up. Oh, please don't take me. I'm too little that I am, said the billy goat. Wait till a second billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Well then, be off with you, said the troll. A little later, the second billy goat gruff came to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge? Roared the troll. Oh, it's only I, the second billy goat gruff. Oh, it's only I, the second billy goat gruff, and I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat, said the billy goat, and his voice was not so small. No, you're not, said the troll, for I'm coming to gobble you up. Oh, please, don't take me. Wait a little till the third billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Very well. Be off with you, said the troll. Then up came the third billy goat gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. The third billy goat gruff was so heavy that the bridge creaked and groaned under him. Who's that tripping over my bridge? roared the troll. It is I, the big billy goat gruff, said the billy goat, 
and his voice was as loud as the trolls. Cause he's so big. Now I'm coming to gobble you up, roared the troll. Well, come along, said the billy goat, said the big billy goat gruff. I've got two horns and four hard hooves. See what you can do. Oh, so that Billy Goat's not free. So up climbed the mean, ugly troll, and the big Billy Goat gruff butted him with his horns, and he trampled him with his hard hooves. And he tossed him over the bridge into the rushing river. Then the big billy goat gruff went up the hillside to join his brothers. In the meadow, the three billy goats gruff got so fat that they could hardly walk home again. They are probably there yet to snip, snap, snout. This tale's told out. Oh, so snip, snap, snout. This tail's told out. And look, see now they're fat because they've been eating all the grass. All right, so I'm going to ask you some questions. Let me think of some questions first and then I'm gonna ask you some questions, okay? Okay, we'll do that. So my first question is, who are the main characters in this story? Excellent. We had the little billy goat, the middle billy goat, and the largest or biggest billy goat gruff. And we also have one other character. Excellent, we had the troll. All right, my next question is, what were the billy goats trying to get? Good job, they were trying to get the nice green grass and daisies that were on the other side of the bridge. And they had to cross over the bridge past the mean old troll, or mean ugly troll, in order to get to the grass on the other side. So my next question is, what was my next question? So my next question is, what happened to the troll at the end of the story? Good job, the troll was kicked into the river. Excellent job. All right, I think you guys are ready to take a test on this story. So remember, it is the three Billy Goat Scruff, and it is written, it's the one that's written by Paul Galdon. So go type that in to AR. Um, oh, but I forgot to give you your other option for an assignment. If you want to take an AR test on the story, you can take an AR test or, if you would rather have a fun activity, what you can do is you can make a bridge using the materials in your house. That was something I had to do in high school is we had to use a bridge and I used gumdrops and toothpicks to try to make a bridge that would go across um, two desks. So I thought it would be cool if you guys made a bridge, like you can use Legos or you can use straws or popsicle sticks. You can make a suspension bridge or a like whatever type of bridge like different there's all different types of bridges um actually i really like bridges there's a cool bridge in south carolina that's another story anywho <laughs> you can make a bridge using different materials in your house and you can see if you can get things to stand on the bridge like you can use gi joe's or see how many pins or crayons you can hold on the bridge before it just falls apart but anyway, if you wanna do that activity and make a bridge that a little troll can live under, you can make a bridge. If you would prefer to take an AR test, you can take an AR test. Um, if you don't wanna do either one of these activities and you'd rather do an activity for one of the other videos, you can do that as well. It's all up to you. Other than that, guys, make sure that you wash your hands Listen to your parents, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye. I keep trying to cover my picture. <laughs>
Because it just, it seems so conceited to have a picture that large of myself at my house, but I was proud of, or I am proud of the work that my mommy did. My mommy did my makeup and then we had pictures taken. And so I have a couple of pictures like that. Um, but yeah, just something random. <laughs> uh, other than that, guys, have a great day. I will catch you all next time.